Hello, everybody! Today we're gonna see how I draw St Clone Trooper Boyle from Star Wars. Just so you know, there's a coloring book that you can get through Amazon. Just follow the link in my description and you can get a coloring book to show me how you color to how I draw. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Okay, it's Star Wars week. Uh, I'm just going to say that now. I might have to say it again in the uh, inking version. But I am just saying that now that it's because May 4th, right? I don't know when you're watching this. If you watch it when I, when I place it out, great. Awesome. Thank you. But if you found it later, I'm recording this during uh, the first week of May, which is basically close to May 4th, which is, you know, Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you, that kind of thing. Um, so... I get tons and tons of requests of clone troopers and I get it I'm starting to get it now that you guys watch the Clone Wars a lot of people here that watch that watch these videos they watch the Clone Wars and so they are very interested in troopers it, it was for the longest time I couldn't figure it out I was like why why is it, I'm getting so many requests for for troopers it's the same thing over and over again to me uh, it was like he's, we're drawing the same guy. It's like, why do you want to draw him again and again and again and again? And it finally clicked. It clicked that you guys watch the clone troopers. You guys, you guys, okay, look, I'm not a speaker. I never said I was. But uh, it, so what I'm saying is you guys watch the clone troopers. And that's why you want to see so many of them. It, it, like I said, it took me a while to figure that out. I, I did not get it. I was like, we're drawing the same thing over and over again. It's just a different color. What's the big deal? You know, this guy has a blue helmet. This guy has yellow. You know, it's like, well, I, I don't get it. Again, it finally clicked and I get it now. I see why you guys get so many requests. And like I said, I'm not complaining. Well, I mean, obviously I was, you know, or I wouldn't have started this conversation. Uh, I'm just saying that I, I didn't get it at first, so I wasn't sure why we were just drawing the same thing. Well, I've already said it over and over again. Um, until it clicked that a lot of people here watch The Clone Wars or play uh, um, was it Battlefront 2 because that's got a lot of them in it too and so that being said I, I started to get it now and so someone was asking me why don't you do like a full like month of Star Wars or something like that and as much as that would be fun to do this is not just a Star Wars channel and I know I get a lot of requests and it, it might as well be right but I, I want variety because I want to offer people a lot of different things and there may be someone here who doesn't want to draw Star Wars. I know, crazy, right? But, uh, you know, I, I want to draw things for them as well. And so, besides just Star Wars, I want to be able to do, uh, what else am I doing right now? Wizard of Oz, you know, I want to be able to do My Little Pony. I've done those too. I, I even did, I got a copyright strike, so I had to take it down. I even did, um, uh, was that a little hot dog boy? Uh, oh, I can't even remember right now. But the music, the music was uh, too much copyright strikes, so I had to take it down. But you see, I've always done different things for different people, trying different things. Shira, oh my gosh, I love doing Shira. That was so much fun. Um, so yeah, so I like doing different things. So I can't just do Star Wars. There's got to be a way I can figure out how to do so many for everybody that loves them so much. Uh, but uh, I can't just do Star Wars. So, as I'm saying that, I'm taking it back because this week I'm doing Star Wars. I'm going to try to get as many as I can, I guess five for the day, Monday through Friday, uh, as many as I can these requests in to finish them up, to catch up, really, 
and and uh, get you some of these requests like boil here again this is another one that as as a non-watcher of the clone wars i'm not complaining or i'm not i'm not saying that i don't like it i i am behind is what it is because doing all these and all this stuff it takes time it takes a lot of my time and so uh, there's a lot of stuff i'm behind on and i i know it's been out for a long time i should have watched it by now but i have not watch the clone wars and so i am super behind so that being said uh that's why i didn't get the whole uh clone wars uh love that everybody else has and it's a shame because i know it's a good show and i want to watch it i just haven't had a chance to so that's why we are doing Star Wars week, so to speak. Um, and also why we are doing Waxer for no reason. Like, I, I did boil, and so I guess that's why I'm doing Waxer. But again, it's the same thing. I'm, I'm the one drawing, so I'm the one who gets to say it. It's the same thing. It's the same guy. Just when you take the hat off, he looks different, you know? So that's, I guess that's also what I don't get. But, you know, you guys have seen the shows. You guys have got a passion for it. And that's awesome, you know? I'm so glad. Because uh, uh, celebrate your passions, right? I can't remember who was saying that. I watched a, a YouTuber that was saying that. Just celebrate your passions. That's what it comes down to. You know, don't worry about what figures you do or don't get or who likes this or why that's dumb. Or right? Just celebrate your passion. That's it. By celebrate, that means don't knock down somebody else's fun. You know, just enjoy your own. Uh, okay, so let me draw like a uh, some kind of gun real fast. The thing is, I'm doing a foreshortened gun, so it's not quite going to be what we're used to drawing because it's at a different angle. And I'm doing something different because I've drawn so many, so many warriors, so many troopers in the same positions over and over again that I'm trying to mix it up. So, I normally try not to do a lot of, uh, 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 what do you call it, foreshortening, where it's like this, where you can't even see, like look, if I were to tell you, let's draw a pencil, and it's foreshortened and straight at you like that, you couldn't tell. So what I always say is try to turn it just a little bit, and then you get a cool foreshortening, but you get to tell that it's a pencil, you know what I mean? It's like here, if I told you draw that pencil, you know what I mean? It's like, no, draw it at an angle just a little bit, you get a pencil. So, we're doing some foreshortening, but he's shooting off to the side. That's what we're going to do. So, uh, I don't have my eraser. Let me grab it real quick. Okay. It's a kneaded eraser, so I, I got to knead it, knead it. And let me erase it a little bit. So, what I normally do is these first few lines are my sketch lines. And I like to just get the placement down, and then when I'm confident with the placement, I start pressing harder. Those are confidence lines. As I get more, well, I'm sorry, as I'm ready, I start erasing, and, and I just lightly erase, and the, the sketch lines will disappear pretty easily, pretty easily without any pressure. But the confidence lines need more pressure that I'm not a, a applying. So what stays is a ghost of an image that uh, usually I make with a special computer. But here, if I erase just lightly, I'll leave myself enough to see where I'm going to go, and it won't show up through the Sharpie, because I want my Sharpie to stand out so you can see that better. This sketch was 100% for me, so don't worry if you couldn't see it. I know you couldn't see it. You're not supposed to. Okay, so let's get going. I'm ready to go. Let's welcome all the skippers. Welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because I do a different drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen. Mostly the fine point, but a pencil a little finer than the fine point. You can find things that a fine point can't quite find. I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the majority of the sketch lines, but left myself enough to see where we're going to go. This is Star Wars week. I've already explained that in the sketch uh, portion for May 4th, so get ready for more troopers and all kinds of fun stuff. Just to shut you all, and I'm just kidding, just just to kind of catch up with all the requests that I've had, uh, we're going to do Star Wars Celebration this week, all right? So I'm going to start with the visor eyes. Let's see, I just kind of sketched it out really fast, so I'm just going to kind of come back in and do this. That looks good to me. And come down and do the eye part. 
And then I'm going, I'm not going to fill this in. I'm going to leave all this hollow because I'm going to color it in later. Okay, come back around like this. Looks good to me. And come down to his, his I call this, I call this by parts. Like, I, okay, I'm going to draw the nose down to the mouth, right? But it's not really a nose and it's not really a mouth. It's just the connecting pieces. And let's see. Let's go ahead and draw this to here. Draw this part to here. And it's just to kind of give me a guide of where it's going to go back. Let's go ahead and draw this like that so I can get, again, his, his sections to help place where everything's going to be. Because a lot of this stuff is curves, you know, kind of like a nose. It's like you can't draw everything. But I want to draw a lot of it. So let me draw the breather piece, the respirator, which comes down and forms like the mouth look. that looks good to me so now I'm gonna to try to connect it here in the center that's where I'm gonna have his little breathing connectors all right looks good and then I'm gonna do one of these Just kind of float around it looks good uh, all right if you can come around like this float around if not don't worry about it do, do what you can what makes you happy? Connect it. Now, I'm going to start to thicken up my outer edges. You don't have to do this. But when I switch over to this Sharpie, you're going to see a gigantic difference in line width. So I'm just explaining to you why I am doing it. So this is why I draw how I draw. Again, it's totally 100% because of the different Sharpies I'm using. You don't have to do this at all. Uh, okay, so again, some of that is there, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and draw um, the outer edge of it. So I'm going to come around, and draw that, but again, see, it's, it's hard to pick what you want to draw because it's so, so uh, curved and, and, and specific. But again, it's kind of like, it's it's really, it's like drawing a nose. It, it's more about shading than it is about a hard edge. And that's kind of what I'm always trying to say, like, I don't want to draw this line, I don't want to draw this line, you know? It's just like, well, A, I got to draw something for you, that's why you're here, right? But B, I want it to, to look like a contoured shape, not a hard edge, like a nose. Again, it's all about uh, shading. Right, looks good to me. So let's see the top part. It's going across. We'll go ahead and connect that now that I know where it's going to go. I didn't want to go all the way because I didn't know how far out it was going to be. But now I know. Now let's connect. Let's see that band goes all the way across, right? So let's go ahead and draw it. Try to stay parallel. You're not going to be perfect like me, or you might. That's great if you are, but look at it. Even mine's not perfect. I'm not worried about that. Cause that that's not, no one's gonna look at this and go, hey, that line is crooked. And if they do, good for them. Thanks for noticing, you know? Oh well. Uh, okay, so let's do his dome up to his little mohawk. And this may not be perfect and that's okay. I'm fine with that. Looks good to me, so I'm gonna draw the mohawk. There is a line through it, like there's there's little piping on the edges. So if you can do it, bring in little lines like that. Okay. It comes down here because it's level, not level, it's another level, it's 3D. Right? I'm gonna bring the edge down here to this. Again, I'm thickening up my edge. You do what you want. Especially if, if you're working with pencil, you probably don't need to do this. Okay, I'm great with that helmet, so I'm gonna move on to the next part with the Big Sharpie. 
So he's kind of turned to the side. I've got a foreshortened there. And I talked about this. When you draw a foreshortened, you can draw it straight at you like that, but it makes more sense if you turn it just a little bit, you can see the detail a little bit better. This works. Absolutely, you know what that is. But if you were to turn this on right now and look at that, you wouldn't know I'm holding a Sharpie. Maybe the shadows might tell you. But point is, turn it just a little bit. Gonna make a world of difference for you. Okay, so you draw what's in front first. That way when you draw what's behind, there's only so much you have to draw, right? So the gun would be first coming into the arm, but we gotta get out there. So let's draw the shoulder piece, which is raised up because it's a hard edge piece, but when you raise your shoulder, your shoulder raises up, um, but it's lifting up the, the pad there. Let's go ahead and draw the, the uh, chest piece too. So you see where we are, do you see the, the, how he's facing to give you a, a, a sense of, of placement for his body, okay? The way he's facing. And also look at the size of this. Look at the thickness of this line. That's why I was trying to match that just to try to make it look similar. It doesn't have to be at all, but I like consistency. I like the thick versus thin that I get with these Sharpies and that's why I use two because it's a little bit different. It stands out a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna draw the rest of his armor kind of coming up like this. Coming back down and going back to this backside, his ribs. And it's gonna go up here, but then it's gonna stop because that's where the armpit is, okay? And I guess it's connected by, yeah, the little, you can't see it over here, but this has got the little connecting strap that will just do like that. I should have accented a little bit better, but uh, oh well, that's, that's okay. You know what, actually, let me do something for his pecs too. Let me try to find a good picture of how to make it look right. We're gonna do, I know I said I was gonna do his arm. I know I said we should do what's in front first, but let's do just a little bit of a design like this. Just to uh, armor, edge, put edges to the armor. Like that. And that'll give us a little bit of level. Look, there's another level to it, but it's gonna look strange if we if we keep going like that. So, I'm good with that. Are you? Awesome. Arm is foreshortened, so that means it's a little smaller looking, but it's because it's almost pointed right at you. So, his uh, bicep piece is gonna be like this. Now, I've talked about this, what's in front, you gotta draw first. So, I'm gonna kinda do it in levels, just bear with me, cause I gotta draw stuff first before I get to this. His forearm is coming through like this. I'm gonna wait to draw the rest. His uh, um, elbow piece is behind that. You see what I'm saying? His uh, forearm piece is behind that, and that's all we can see, okay? So again, you kinda have to draw what's in front first, then you can draw the rest. I'm gonna connect this right here, because this is material, and that I can draw like it's it's cloth, right? There's little loops, and uh, 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 creases and folds, creases and folds. Um, that for the elbow, arm, it's gonna kinda do something like, oh, you know what, I'm adding detail when I'm not even there yet. Now, the hand is in front of this edge right there, so I'm just gonna draw his hand holding a gun. Now, it's not really gonna be regular gun because we've got it pointed straight at you, so don't worry about too much about the details, but his thumb, gonna be in front of everything, like this. The finger is over the trigger, and then the other fingers are like wrapped around like, th like that, okay? So we're coming through. We're pretty much just gonna draw sausages, you know, because it's going around and wrapping around over the, the handle, which is gonna be like this. So again, now that that's finished, I could draw the rest of the hand. See how sometimes it gets a little, it gets a little confusing with foreshortening, but you know, that's also better than pointing straight at you like that. So you can see what it is. You can see that there's fingers holding uh, uh, the blaster. And then we're gonna make like, I, I don't have a picture of a foreshortened blaster, but the best I can really do is 
just kind of give you an idea of what it might look like, okay? So there's the trigger actually goes uh, uh, behind the trigger guard there. So we're gonna do something like this. Just kind of make, make up a trigger guard is what we're gonna do. There's a little stick thing hanging down that we can't really see the rest of it for. So we're gonna say that the barrel is gonna be right here, okay? So it's all coming from that. Now, again, that puts this trigger thing, or this, there's just something that's, if this was the gun, it's like hanging down like that from the edge. And that's kind of getting in the way. So that's also why I can't really draw the entire thing for you the way it's supposed to look because eh, it's a little obstructed, you know? But again, that means we can just do some fun stuff with uh, the shape of the gun, just to, just to, you know, add on to what we can do. And, you know, you could just say, well, it's, again, it's foreshortened right at you. That's why you can't see all that specific detail. Which is a shame, because it's really cool. But that's what happens, you have to, you have to, uh, like pick and choose your battles it's the same thing with foreshortening it's like well you know you either draw straight at you where you can't see a thing or you pick that well I'm doing it like this so I can draw a few of the details rather than none you know because that gun if you were to turn it okay it's like this if you're if you're to turn it it's gonna get like that like super long see what I'm saying that's what you think of with foreshortening all right, so this hand is kind of out doing one of these kind of things in a, in a dramatic pose. So I'm gonna draw this shoulder pad out like this, coming down and doing this. We're gonna see that much of the bicep like that. It's kind of back a little bit, so it's also foreshortened too, but I guess back shortened, right? Because it's not forward. Foreshortening means forward shortening, but back, back shortening. Foreshortening and back shortening, I guess. So same thing, we're gonna draw his um, elbow pad like this, connect everything. And then his uh, forearm mer, right? Because it's for his forearm and it's armor. <laughs> Get it? Forearmer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry with the grandpa jokes. Uh, close that off again it's material so I just kind of like to do stuff in there you know because cloth for the hand we're pretty much just doing like this just kind of get a little crazy we're gonna draw this hand with the thumb up I've already sketched it out so I'm pretty much just tracing around my 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 fingers here just to try to get some kind of little action pose a little dramatic hand gesture And these are gloves, so we can get a little, uh, I was gonna say crazy, but not really crazy, a little uh, artistic with, with uh, lines in it. You know, it doesn't have to look like a, a palm. There we go. Uh, oh, same thing, let's do a little bit of the artistic armor style. All right, so, all right, we're working our way down now. So, uh, okay, so his middle piece, but it's gonna be covered up by the belt. So let's go ahead and draw down to about there. But again, uh, it's trooper belt, so big old boxes. They gotta get their big old, old remote TV, TV remote control boxes. Long time ago, kids, Long time ago, remote controls were gigantic. I mean, huge. Big old huge squares like this. I'm not kidding. And uh, that's what I think of whenever I see these, like gigantic remote controls. Okay, now that I have an edge, I can go ahead and bring this down. Because that's what I usually do is I stop just to make sure I don't draw through it, you know?
Okay, so it's got, uh, you know, that armor to it, the armor, the, the deco, I guess, to his, uh, his um, armor, right? But this has a very specific look too, so I always try to at least try to capture that. The look to the uh, to the um, again space boxes. I don't know what they are because they're not exactly clips. They're not. Uh, they don't hold juice or snack packs or pudding or anything like that. I don't know what he puts in there. I just bumped the whole table. All right, you okay? You good? Awesome. All right, uh, uh, b -b 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 leg. I'm gonna do that in front. I'm gonna stop there because there's a knee. Same thing, I'm gonna stop right about there. Um, now I can do his um, um, crotch piece. Back's gonna come in like this, back around. Put it back behind there for a little bit. Bring it back to the front. Do that. And I can't remember, do they have, I think they do, a little line piece like that, just to give it some some uh, detail. Oh. Cloth. Cloth. You know, just to give it a little bit of movement, because it is broken up into cloth pieces. Um, uh, let's do the knees, knee pads. Um, I'm gonna bring it in like this. So now I can bring this over. Oops, don't, don't draw into the piece you just did. That's a whole reason you stopped, so you don't draw through stuff. So don't do what I just did. <laughs> okay, let's do the other leg too, so we're in the same, same, uh, ballpark, so to speak. Armor. Stop. Knee pad. Um, we're gonna say it kind of goes in, but it is a piece, so we're gonna uh, um, cut it off like that. I want to say slot it off. That's not a word, but you can slot it off if you like. You see, I did that for no reason. All that's gonna be black anyway. It's just for my own personal. Uh, need to make sure that it's cloth inside there. Don't know why, but that's just my thing. Okay, uh, is there... Yes, there is, there is, there is. They've got a very specific look to them. That I usually put in here like that. It's got like a... Uh, it's round, but it comes to a point, you know? Okay, so now we're just drawing uh, the rest of it, the rest of the armor. So, down to the ankle. Same thing here. Close it off. And close it like that. And they've got like, I don't know what this is like this shoe protector thing that they all have over their shoes. Okay, now I'll add some detail in a second. I'm gonna draw, draw the little shoe protector thing in the foot. This, this one's pointed straight at you. This is what I was talking about, of straight at you like this. Now, for a foot, we can kind of get away with it because we can add a little bit of detail. Same thing with the armor, it's got like this little crease line detail. Um, let's see, we're gonna say the toes, something like that. So there's the the roundness of the arch, not the arch, the uh, um, the toes, I guess, where they bend. So there you go. I say we take care of the rest with color. So that is Boyle. Clone Trooper Boyle from Star Wars. So here's how I colored it. Tell me what you think in the comments below or show me what you did in our Discord group. 
Just have fun and make it your own, because remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw, and we'll meet somewhere in between. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures on how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button for new videos.